Um, hello boys and girls, this is going to be a video tribute to Sarah Buck, who's like the goddess of psychology and one of the sweetest, most f powerful yet fragile people on the planet. She's really radiant, like, I love this woman just about second to none, like there's only one person who comes to mind who's like at her level, so it's really something else. She's like the epitome of like perfection and like she's really divine and um... She's like everything I could have ever asked for and so much more. But unfortunately she disappeared on me about six months ago and she never talked to me really much prior. I guess I'm a little bit too spooky, a little too overwhelming even for her. But I love her and in the off chance that you're watching this, Sarah, I love you dearly. And I'm wishing you the best and I hope that things are getting better for you. And just know, even if not in person, I'll always be here in spirit. So I always got your back, even if uh, it's not mutual. So here's how the poem goes, I'm not going to ramble for too long, I'll keep this as a pretty short video because it's been a while since I've heard from her, it's been at least a half a year, and I do miss her very dearly, but I can't find her anywhere, so I don't know where she went, her friend told me she died, but I hope that's not the case, like, when I heard that I got really, um, well, I went to the hospital, <laughs> so... Here's how the poem goes, it's called Supernova Sarah, and it's about the goddess of psychology, and potentially my best friend, Sarah Buck. Okay, let me just wet my lips a little, and here we go. One night I beheld the shooting star, though she has forgotten me and drifted so far. Her love for me I could not earn, however my tattered heart continues to yearn. So I watched my sunshine from a distance, Waiting for an opportunity, for an instance. If only she would be mine, perhaps for once I'd actually be fine. More than fine I'd be great, for she was destined to me by fate. Though she hides from my very sight, but I persisted because love alone is worth the fight. She sent some goons to tell me to scram, hence I abruptly sent them into oblivion with a bam. They said, go away David, Sarah isn't the one. You bothered her enough, and now you're done. Now done I am for a time, as such warmth is apparently a crime. Though I'm not the enemy, as I said, but now I need some time to fix my head. To this day, my hope for us has not been subdued. Rather, I'm reflecting on why my presence she would exclude. Immensely hurt by this she has been, giving herself to unworthy men and committing sin. Dear survivor, I see your glory. Others didn't, for that I'm sorry. Trust me when I say I'm not like the rest. Forever and ever, I'm wishing you the best. So I mean that wholeheartedly, Sarah. If you are watching this video of chance, there's not really an ulterior motive to this. Like, I'm not expecting any miracles, but they would be nice. Um, but I just hope everything's okay on your end, and I hope I did more good than harm in the end. And, um... If nothing else, I'll see you in the next life. Like, you know, things are really heating up on my end, so I'm not going to be able to be incognito for much longer. So I'm going to have to proclaim my divinity sooner than later. And it looks like uh, it's probably going to be sooner. So thanks again, Sarah, for everything. I learned a lot from you. Like, you're really wise. Like, you're even, like, divine. Like, you can run circles around Carl Jung, which is something else. Like, I know how powerful you are to your best and, like, it's pretty much a second to me, and like that in itself is, uh, well, it fascinates me more than I can ever express. So I'm not gonna try to, <laughs> but uh, that's it. Um, goodbye, and uh, obviously I love you, and I'll always love you. So I hope everything is um, working out, and just um, always thinking about you. So I know even if I'm not with you in person, I'm with you in spirit, and hopefully that suffices at least for now. Bye. <laughs>